Yo, welcome to the channel. My name is Philip, and today we're gonna go over the Nova Blast 3 after 100 miles. Stick around to the end of this video and I will give you the discount code so you can get a free Corals Pod 2 with the purchase of the Corals Paste 3. Full disclosure, this video is not sponsored. No one has paid me to make this review. So with the Nova Blast 3, they put on a new foam. Before it was just the FF Blast, but now it's the FF Blast Plus. It is lighter, resilient, and it springs back a lot faster. The Nova Blast 3 comes in at 8.9 ounces, which is significantly lighter than the Nova Blast 2. I believe the Nova Blast 3 sets the standard for how a daily trainer should be. It's durable for your easy run and it's comfortable for your long run. If you watch my previous videos, this is the shoe of the year. From a beginner's perspective, it's a really great shoe. If I were to buy a shoe in order, okay, I would purchase this shoe for the Nova Blast 3, and then I would move up to the Nimbus 25. Even though it's such a great shoe, the Nova Blast 3, it does have a limitation. I, would, I don't see myself running 10 miles in the shoe because when I ran my last 10 miles, like a few days ago, I ran in, in the Asics Nimbus 25. If I had to just choose one, I'll still rock with the Nova Blast 3. Um, it's just because I don't know if I have bias or this was my first running shoe, but I have so many good memories with this shoe. You guys want to see what shoes before I got into running? Let me show you guys real quick. Look at how beat up this shoe is. This is the Nike React. It hasn't seen a bright day in a while. It's shredded in the rear. Nike logo <laughs> is ripping off. When I started my running journey, there was no way I was going to run in this. I took this out to um, Jesse Jones Park. The longest run I've ever done on it was seven miles and the max I would go with this shoe but what I love about it is is this is a great daily trainer you can put a lot of miles on it when Nimbus 25 I ran 100 miles in that this one was like at 93 when I first wear this shoe you know that feeling that runner's high you're just on cloud nine and you just want to keep running and that's what this shoe does for you you just got to try on the shoe to know but let's go over how the aesthetics look man if i had to grade this from one to ten i would give this a nine like the colorway on here is so sick when i used to look at running shoes like it it looks so like old so plain but the nova blast 3 like the little details how this pops out and i started to see like other new shoes that are coming out they're imitating this design and I really think that ASIC designs have improved drastically. I just realized, man, when I was looking at the monitor, I was like, I really need a haircut. So I went in and just cut my hair and then I had to cut the grass. So I did that and now I'm back. So let's get back into the review. A good pairing option would be the Adidas Adizero Audios 8. The Noah Blast 3 is good for your tempo run, while the Adizero Audios 8 it's great for your speed run. I have a clip of me at the track doing my workout for speed days. And I think when you go from a Vinoa Blast 3, now you got the Audios 8. The shoes are getting lighter and you're able to go at a faster speed than you normally would. And when you train from a heavier shoe to a lighter shoe, it just improves your speed in general. So this is why I think this would be a good pairing option. So great news, Nova Blast 3 is currently running for 105 at Fleet Feet website. I truly recommend going to a local business store and trying out and getting your sh your foot fitted. I recommend personally Feet Feet because they really stand behind their return policy. If you're not satisfied for any reason, you know, maybe the shoe is too small or too big, you can go ahead and go and exchange the shoe for free. No question asked. And that's why I love about Feet Feet. Even the little things they have pairing up with the running socks as well. I do recommend that and then it's just the experience of trying on the shoe in person. I always believe that it's, it's, it's great to support local businesses. 
And businesses like Fleet Feet does a real great job on finding the right shoe for you. So if you're a beginner, I definitely recommend going to your local running store. $105, that is such a great deal. I purchased this actually for retail. So, I mean, you guys are already getting a discount at 105, which is such a great shoe. So I wouldn't hesitate to purchase it. If you guys are looking for a daily trainer, this is perfect. The Noah Blast 3 is such a great shoe. Not regret for a second purchasing this shoe. Yes, it's a little dirty. I just took it out to Memorial Park. But I figured I could have easily cleaned this shoe before reviewing this. But I felt like it was more authentic to leave it as it is. Because at the end of the day, shoes are meant to get dirty. Yeah, of course, it's going to need a good clean. I'll clean it up before I go to Cambodia. But right now, I'm bringing four pairs of shoes to Cambodia for running and this is one of them so with that being said man I hope you guys like this video like comment and subscribe and until next time you guys have a great one love you guys peace out thank you for making it to the end the discount code for the free Coros Pod 2 is free stone hey.